Much has happened in local sports since our pre-Christmas sound off. I'll keep thoughts to a big three. The Cyclones won four Big 12 road games, finished strong in the snow at Kansas State, and then went to the Liberty Bowl and forgot to show up. 19-0 Memphis after one? How does that happen? The usually proud Cyclone defense gave up 530 yards to a group of five team. Abu Sama had game to game whiplash running stats from 276 yards to four yards. Sama had nowhere to go. Freshman Rocco back passed for 446 yards and three touchdowns, and it still wasn't near enough. Iowa State won seven games, exceeded expectations, but losses at Ohio and Memphis perplex. The Hawkeye Citrus Bowl left an even worse aftertaste. Tennessee had more than a dozen players opt out. Iowa had everyone healthy available and got boat raced. Even the vaunted defense looked pedestrian. Quarterback Deacon Hill helped Tennessee with costly turnovers. It got so uncomfortable that fans were pleading to have the likable Hill pulled. He finally was, but it was way too late. Freshman Marco Linez provided a spark needed two quarters earlier. Tennessee's decisive 35-0 win means that in the three games Iowa played ranked teams, the Hawks were outscored 92 to nothing. Complimentary football requires the offense doing its part. After the game, the well-liked and much-respected Kirk Ferentz sounded either stubborn or in denial. It left many fans wondering if much will change even with a new offensive coordinator. And then there's Caitlin Clark. Everywhere Iowa plays sells out. Tickets on the secondary market go for hundreds of dollars. She's the biggest draw in college sports. Now that's pressure, but you wouldn't know it. Clark's game-winning step back logo three as time expired broke the internet. The widespread attention, not to mention petty jealousy, will only grow. Something tells me Caitlin Clark can handle it.